Oh my goodness. I can't believe I am doing this. I am sitting down and recording what will be the 100th episode of the Work Life Harmony podcast. It feels like, in some ways, it feels like just a couple of months ago, I made the commitment to start this podcast. Yet here we are, and it's been almost two years later. Uh, We have not missed a week. Every single Tuesday morning, a new episode of Work Life Harmony podcast has dropped to you. And I put a lot of thought into thinking about what would I want to do on this kind of celebratory 100th episode. Uh, And so I I talked it over with some of the amazing uh, women that I have supporting me in business, um, those that actually do a lot of work for my business as well and mold it over. And I decided that it would be a lot of fun to highlight the top five podcasts over the last 99. Now, I have to be totally honest, I'm recording this before episode 99 comes out. So it's not even in the running to be one of the top five, Um, but I think that's all right. So here's what I did to pick the top five. I can actually, um, the software that we use to actually push podcasts out to the world lets you know how many downloads per episode. Um, Now I can't track it across all podcast platforms, depending upon where you choose to listen to this. So I just zeroed in on iTunes only. um, And I looked at what were the top five most downloaded podcasts. Now, here's what's cool. It was a mix. It's not like they were all five, you know, numbers 50 to 55 or all the first five. It was a good mix over the last 99 episodes. So I thought I would just highlight those and give you kind of a quick takeaway from each one, because if they are ones you've missed, obviously this might be a good chance for you to go back and re-listen to those. Before I jump into the top five, though, I want to give a shout out to the amazing David. David has been supporting this podcast from day one. He takes every single episode I record and puts the intro, the outro, packages it all up and gets it ready to go. So David, thank you for sticking with me. And maybe one day we might actually be able to meet face to face. So I'm going to start from number five and then work my way up to the top most listened. So at number five is episode number 48, and it's entitled, Why Willpower Will Not Make You More Productive. I really loved this particular episode because I get asked so many times, Um, You know, people come to me saying, oh, I just can't seem to have enough willpower to do it. I need to stay up late, but, but I can't find the willpower. Well, in this episode, I actually share with you the brain science behind willpower so that you can stop blaming willpower when actually that's not what's going on at all. In a nutshell, you wake up every day with a limited supply of willpower. And whether you realize it or not, every single choice that you make all day long pulls from it, even choices that are easy for you. So definitely go listen to that one if you have not. Now, number four, again, I'm going to say this on every single one, one of my favorites, but really this one was awesome. And it is episode number 63, where I had the authors of the book Streaking, Jeff and Jamie Downs, on to interview them. And the podcast was titled How Streaking Can Change Your Life. Uh, I know many of you have loved this episode. I've had them train inside my Facebook community. I talk about their book often. I use their app. Um, streaking is not about running around naked <laughs> in, you know, on a college field or anything. To me, it's been like this missing link of we have habits, we have goals, We have new routines we're trying to put in place. And this concept of streaking is what kind of zeroes in and fills in some gaps in all of that. So I, and everyone that has started uh, creating what they call streaks, um, I continue to hear from members in my community how powerful it's been for them. Now, full disclosure, I don't get any kickback or anything for recommending the book that anything. I just think it's absolutely amazing. 
All right, so third, the, the number three of most downloaded and listened to podcast episodes. <laughs> this was not a surprise for me to see this show up on the list. It was number 75, which was when I brought my mom on the podcast and it was entitled Meet My Mom, Proof I Was Not Always This Way. Uh, I think people, particularly when they hear I was a math major, people just assume I'm naturally organized. I was naturally really good at time management. Um, and there's a big misbelief out there that you are either born that way or you're not. You're either type A or not. You're either naturally organized or not. And I was not. And since so many people kind of said, eh, we don't believe you, I actually invited my mom on the show and you guys submitted your questions to her and uh, <laughs> she's an open book. Um, but she also shares some really, uh, I felt amazing tips because to me, my mom had a lot to juggle and I learned a lot watching her. Uh, so it was a real treat for me to be able to bring her on the show and share her with you. And if you wanna hear some funny stories about me and a little bit of my dirty laundry, uh, definitely go check out number 75. Now, number two in the list um, was right near there. It was actually number 73 and it was, do you know how to create boundaries with your time? So there's one thing about managing your time, but that's a whole other conversation when we talk about creating boundaries. And in that episode, I talk about the different types of boundaries or um, areas for improvement that you may need. So I, I talk about maybe you're a yes person, you just say yes too much and you don't have any boundaries around what you're willing to say no to. On the flip side, maybe you're somebody that is a no and you never open yourself up to say yes to anything. And then the third one was covering more of the, you want to kind of own the boundaries for everybody else in your life. And if you're a mom, I think we all struggle with that one a little bit, right? Um, but I give you some good strategies to know, help you uncover which one you may be, and then some steps that you can take to actually help you get the appropriate boundaries in place so that your calendar is not, you know, being controlled by others, that you are actually controlling it and feeling really comfortable about that as well. Now, the number one most downloaded podcast episode, which does not, again, actually, it did surprise me a little bit. Um, it was the fifth podcast episode ever recorded, number five, called Do You Know How to Use a Day Planner? Um, and what's fascinating with this is I create, I, I recorded that podcast before I even launched the edition of my top planner, because I am really passionate about making sure people know what to avoid with planners. Uh, so I think it was kind of fun to go back and listen to one that was recorded so long ago before I even had in place this whole top planner bundle where I've got the full planner with all the digital courses, teaching you how to use it, all of that. Um, that has been near and dear to my heart. So the fact it was one of the first ones I ever recorded, I thought that was pretty cool to see that that actually ranked as number one of the most downloaded and listened to podcast. Now I did wanna bring up two more. Those were the top five, but number six and seven uh, were practically identical and they were so close to number five that if I were to log back in two days from now, those the ranking could have changed. Um, plus they were ones, one in particular near and dear to my heart and another one that was just very fun. Um, one of those is episode number 71. If you've been listening for a while, you know my family went on a crazy pants adventure where we participated in the Love It or List It show back in early 2020. Um, and I, so many questions came pouring in when people saw that episode air that I actually did a, a full podcast episode of my behind the scenes experience. And I answered all of the questions that you guys submitted about having been on the show. It really doesn't have a whole lot to do with time management, organization, and productivity, but I did share how I managed all that we had to juggle because it was not easy. 
Now, finally, um, again, this was right up there so close to number five, was episode number 82. And that's where I shared five life, le five life lessons I learned from my beautiful niece. Uh, we lost my niece uh, very suddenly and unexpectedly in March of this year, 2021, uh, at the young age of just 22. And she's had a tremendous impact on my life. And I took some time in that episode to share a little bit about her and, and what I learned from spending so much time with her. And I would encourage you all, if you are actively involved with young adults, um, it's a good episode to listen to, to just remind us we have so much. I think that we, we get wrapped up in thinking it's always on us to teach, to learn, to share. But when we take a step back, there is so much we can learn from those young adults and children in our lives. And I know that my life was, is a million times better because of what I learned from my amazing niece. So it's a pleasure for me to be able to share a little bit about her with you all. So this leads me to the next 100 episodes. What do I have in store for you? Well, I've already got some amazing guests lined up. I've got some new hot topics that are um, kind of bubbling up to the surface that I plan on sharing with you. But most importantly, I want you to know that I am always looking to my listeners to say, what do you need help with? How can I support you? So if you have a question or a topic that you would love to see covered here on the Work Life Harmony podcast, or if there's a guest that you loved that you want me to have back, or someone you are hoping I am bringing on, by all means, please let me know. You can DM me right on Instagram at Megan Sumrall or pop into my free Facebook community, the Work Life Harmony Group, and post your suggestions there. Um, because if I am not serving you with the information that you need, well, then what's the point of being here, right? So thank you for supporting me in this journey. Thank you for celebrating this episode 100 together. And I hope that you have a good time going back and re-listening to some of those favorite podcasts of mine. I will be sharing them in the show notes. So if you weren't able to remember what they all were, they'll all be listed there so that you can go back and find them as well. Have a great week.